Flock and friends, welcome back to the homestead and uh, I think for the first time welcome into the workshop, um, if that's what you can call it, man cave, whatever. I um, appreciate it probably looks a bit of a mess, but trust me it looks a hundred times better than it did um, before we had the great sort out of 2019. So today um, I woke up this morning and I thought I'm going to make a smoker. So what do you do um, when you wake up with a great idea? We have a quick flick through YouTube or Pinterest and um, see what's already been done and get a rough idea of what's going on. I've got a rough idea up here of what I'm going to do. And I've got a load of scrap wood lying about from various other projects and offcuts um, from, I can't remember what I made with this. Um, and We've got a whole stash of old window frames, which I think were made for a project, not for this house, but for somewhere else, and were never used. So I'm gonna use those. I've got a carpenter's pencil, I've got a tape measure, and I've got a cup of tea um, in this wonderful mug, which my goddaughter gave me. Um, bless her. So, um, let's go on. I think it's gonna be about about this high and about this wide, and um, it's, it's, this is gonna be a bit like Scrap Heap Challenge, if you've ever seen that. Um, looking around for the bits that we need, either wood or metal. I think in the big pile of um, metal that we have out there, um, there's maybe a, a wire rack or something, or if not, I, I can weld one up or something. And it's a, it's a perfect day for it. It's peeing down rain outside, um, it's, well, we're in Latvia, but we would say it's great British weather, great British summer weather, um, which we seem to have here. So um, it's a good day for being indoors and making something, doing something all the time. So let's get on and um, cut a few bits of wood, make a frame, and then we'll, we'll put some cladding on or something and go from there.
so we've got the frame made and we've got the sliders on for the shelves as you've seen um, we're now going to put the panelling on around the box um, I'm going to do the back first I've got this um, these planks here which are uh, 10 mil by 90 mil everything's in metric here um, and uh, I'll get those on the back I'm doing them vertically and I've got this little uh, this thin piece of wood uses a spacer which will give me an overhang on either side so that when I do the side panels which will be horizontal uh, they sit flush against this and it also is a nice piece of uh, just gives a little bit of interest on the back and um, it sits a little bit proud so I'll just uh, recess that so that it sits flush with the back it will stick a little bit inside but that's fine so um, we get that back on um, I've got a spacer for the overhang so I'll get that right what I'll do is I'll get this first piece on here and then I'll probably um, spin it around so that I can then um, use gravity to help me put each piece on and then I'll tack those on with nails and I will use some glue this time I've avoided using glue on the frame because well it wasn't necessary ultimately because the strength comes from when the um, the outer um, covering uh, is applied to the frame and it becomes rigid. I'm using um, tight bond which is food safe and the temperatures that we although we are going to do some hot smoking temperatures shouldn't, shouldn't exceed uh, 140 degrees centigrade um, and uh, I've been doing some research on the internet and that's fine so we'll, we'll glue it up as well just to, to seal it really um, yeah, so let's get going with that. So we've got our uh, back on now and now we need to do the side panels so I've got some, some more of the same wood um, as I talked about earlier that's going to fit flush with that now so I just need to just draw a line off from there and then I'll run through um, the table saw with the sledge and we'll make up a bunch of um, pieces for this it's 700 millimeters high so uh, we need eight pieces for each side and I'll get two pieces out of each uh, piece of each um, plank of wood so I'm just going to run this through the table saw and then again with the same system we're going to tack them on and glue, glue them and tack them on um, I'm going to leave them flush here because on the front where our door's going to go our door um, will hinge here and then I'll have two facing uh, pieces of wood and the door fitting in between and um, just to make that all level and then they'll those pieces will come over and cover the ends of these side pieces that I'm going to put on in a minute so let's get on and do that <laughs> Thank you. 
here we are. All done, finished. And I must say, I'm really pleased with it. Um, like I said earlier, this is my first, I wouldn't have said first woodwork project, um, but certainly first cabinet style um, wood project. And yeah, I'm really chuffed with it. Uh, of course, I'm looking forward to using it. Um, so uh, just to reiterate, I, I would normally, I'm a big follower of plans. I make plans, but I didn't follow any plans. I had an idea of, of kind of what I wanted it to look like and it sort of developed along the journey. And um, it cost, it's cost me probably, I don't know, three, three euros, something like that. I had to buy the hinges. That's pretty much the only thing that I didn't have. Uh, the rest is a few consumables, obviously screws and glue, which I've always got here anyway um, on hand, and some wood that was lying around. A lot of the wood was from, um, we have the roof replaced. If you follow us on Instagram, um, which if you don't, you really should, uh, you'll know that we had the roof replaced, so there was some timber left from that. Um, a lot of this other, uh, this, these thinner planks are from um, beehives. My father-in-law used to make beehives, so that was lying around, but it's not particularly expensive. It's all rough cut timber. Um, the handle and the latch uh, were from beaver wood, which where beavers eat the, the bark. Um, they find nutrition in the bark and then they leave these sticks and they've got the, the teeth marks in, which makes it quite decorative. Um, we can find them all around the lake, so it's pretty similar to driftwood, I suppose. And yeah, so all done. I hope, um, if you've watched the video, thank you, because I know it's going to be a long one. Um, in the next video, we're going to look at me installing the uh, smoker and giving it its first go. So I hope you feel inspired to have a go yourself uh, with a woodwork project. If you want any uh, advice about this, um, then by all means leave a comment um, or contact us directly. I'm, I'm always happy to help. Um, but now let's just get on and, and smoke some stuff. Um, thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye for now.